please join me on this journey where I take two broken iPhone 6s's and I get one and a quarter-ish working. I had one iPhone 6s that I believe was still functional but had a broken screen. I also had a second iPhone 6s which had a good screen but entered into the dreaded boot loop. I took that one to the Apple store where they didn't feel they could do anything about it. They just wanted us to buy a new phone. But then I got to watching some videos and I thought well maybe I could just swap the screens and then maybe get one good functional phone out of it? Well, let's see what happened. Transplant this in and see how this goes. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, let's put this one back together or charge it up a little bit more and then put it back together. And uh, we'll put all the proper shields and screws in. This way, so on an angle, and then the side should snap in. There we go. And then finally, the uh, what do they call them? Pentalobe screws here. Oh boy. Now, I didn't know that the home buttons were kind of linked to that phone. So I didn't. that's why the Touch ID wasn't working anymore. Um, the home button would work, but you know, the, the, the Touch ID where you put it on there and you know, it senses your fingerprint and so you can just log on or log on to your phone really quickly. If you don't have the same home button, it won't work for security reasons, I'm guessing. So I had to open them back up and pray that I did not break anything doing that again and then replacing the home button which had a very very small ribbon um, again I just hoped I hoped I didn't break anything doing that
So now I have a fully functioning uh, phone with a Touch ID. I plan to list it on eBay and use the proceeds to a new project, uh, but more on that later. Since I had the boot looping phone and an extra screen, I thought, well, instead of just having them sit around collecting dust open, I decided just to put that broken screen on the boot loop phone. Things actually started to work. It didn't quite go into that boot loop anymore. The battery where it would show like 100% for a long time, that didn't happen that often. It just kind of went down gradually like you'd expect a battery to go down when the, the phone is on. However, the screen touch function, that was all gone. Now prior to this, that screen, it wouldn't even show up. It would be this like kind of staticky mess. Having it show everything was kind of cool. But the problem was that the the home button would work. You could press the home button, but the touch screen, anything on the screen didn't work at all. Interesting thing is Siri would work. So I think that was a good sign. If there's any small possibility that this phone could work. I ordered a new screen from eBay. Uh, it's about $32 Canadian. Judging by how things are going with uh, transport, uh, I should see it in a very, very long time. Definitely have one working phone, and the second one is hmm, kind of. We'll see. Now for my long-term project, and I call it long-term because this may take a little while. I'm selling a lot of my old stock of computer parts, old cell phones, other electronic gadgets like a TV antenna and that kind of thing. And I'm selling them, which I, this is actually a different video I'm gonna be making, is about my experience selling on eBay. I've never sold on eBay because I was a little bit intimidated by the whole process. Uh, normally I'd sold them on Kijiji, which is like a Craigslist selling platform. But it's Craig, Kijiji is so annoying because you know you could put the model number, you could put all the specs in that ad, and people will still say, Hey, is it available? What, what does it have on it? After I've answered all the questions and I'll go meet with them and they'll say, oh, you can't put a SIM card in that tablet? Mm, I kind of needed one that had a SIM card. I could put a SIM card in it. I'm like, what? Anyway, so I'm done, kind of done with Kijiji and I'll sell a few things on that sometimes, but I've been trying eBay and it's been working okay for me. But anyway, back to the project. So. I'm selling all these things on Kijiji and actually more now eBay, I think. Um, and any of the proceeds will go towards my new computer system. So I have my computer desk, which I'm working at here. In the background, I have my gaming PC. Um, and those are two different systems, um, but I'm just gonna combine the two. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna buy some, maybe some used bits, but a lot of just more modern bit, modern pieces, like say a Ryzen 5, 3600 or 2600 newer graphics card, um, something or a system that will work just a lot better. Uh, rendering videos takes a bit of time on this. I mean, it still works and it still works reasonably well, but I would like it to kind of go a little faster because sometimes I'm uploading certain files and it takes quite a bit for that to render out um, and work. So, you know, I'm just gonna try to upgrade my rig. Really, I'm just trying to raise about maybe about $600. Anyway, that's the new project. Now for the joke of the day, probably the best part of this whole video. Where are average things made? In the satisfactory. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.